Are you nervous about putting baby to sleep in a crib or his or her own room? Worried it might ruin baby's fantastic sleep pattern or worse, your positive bond? Fear no more. This video is filled with tips on how to make the move as peaceful as possible. How to move baby to crib or own room. Ideas from the book The No Cry Sleep Solution by Elizabeth Pantley. Be sure to watch my two other videos after this one if your baby still isn't sleeping through the night. See link in description. For now, let's get straight to the point. Idea number one, staying close but not too close. Keep a mattress or pad on the floor near your bed. Put baby to sleep there and then climb back into your own bed. After a week or so, move the same mattress or pad into baby's room. Two, create a miniature family bed. Go to sleep with baby in his own room. At first, stay the whole night. Then, leave after baby falls asleep. Keep a monitor in room so that you can quickly go to baby when he awakens at night so that baby learns you're never very far away and will begin to wake less at night. Three, the traveling crib. This consists of keeping the crib next to your bed and slowly moving it further away from you until it's in baby's room with a monitor as mentioned before. Four, the sneaky way. Allow baby to fall asleep in your room. Then quickly move him to the crib in baby's room. Keep a monitor and when baby awakens, either nurse baby in a chair or back in your bed, but return baby to crib when asleep again. Five, if your baby is older, you can just explain it to them. You can allow them special times where they are still welcome in your room and offer them rewards for when they make it the whole night in their own room. Six, make a big production of their new room when first making the move. Mention it ahead of time, involve them in the design process or decorate the day up. Seven, create a sibling bed. If baby is above 18 months and has a willing sibling, they often welcome the change of sleeping without you. And that's it. Choose whichever of these points suits your family. Cross your fingers and just rip off the band-aid. You and your baby can do this. Which of these techniques do you think you'll use or have used on your baby? I'd love to read about it in the comment section below. Also, see that red button that says subscribe? Press it as well as the bell beside it and you'll be notified whenever I post a useful video.